Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Baseball. It's a Bowman Baseball Mixer. We're doing half a jumbo case and half a hobby case. This is pick your team number nine, total of 10 boxes. And we're giving away the Yankees. So there you go. So whether you win it or whether you bought it, everyone has a shot at getting the Yankees right here. So let's take out the Yankees placeholder there. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times. Name on top gets the Yankees. Two. Ten. And 11th and final time. Again, after 11. Congrats to Aaron Haynes. There you go, Aaron. You are the winner. What team did you have here? Let's just copy and paste your name. You had bought the Pirates. Hey, not bad. Ended up with the Yankees. Here in pick your team number nine. All right, let's print. Now get comfortable, folks. This is going to take a while. There's the uh, hobby case and the camera above my head. All right, so it says L right there. You can see the L, maybe you can see the, the R a little bit. There's R, L. So we're gonna go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Let's use that one right there. And it's gonna be one. So we're doing the left side right side we'll save for next time actually let's move the hobby first and we'll close with the jumbo so there you go left side right there there's the jumbo case right here Pops poster right here talking about baseball card day in August. We just have to decorate the shop. Alright. Here are your jumbo cases or your jumbo boxes. So same drill. We got left side you can see the L right there and the right side all right so once again one two three for the left side four five six for the right side and it's one take roll a one again run it one again left side so we'll save this for uh, probably pick your team this is pick your team nine so pick your team ten will be these All right, well, so we'll leave those jumbo boxes up there. Now I can shrink this camera a little bit. Oh, did I print out the list? All right, there's the official printout right there. So if you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you want it in, a, in that jumbo pack team random, or if you're lucky like Aaron, you want it in the, uh, the Yankees giveaway. Brandon with Last Spot Mojo Rangers. As always, paper does not ship. 
no paper at all ships in this break. Unless that person's name is Jason Dominguez. Jason Dominguez paper will ship to the Yankees. Robert Possen paper will ship to the A's. Matthew Shearer and Bobby Wood Jr. paper will go to the Royals. Adam Harper. That otherwise, otherwise no, it won't. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. So if you're watching the replay, um, if you're watching the replay, then you can uh, just fast forward to the very end. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me for the next hour, hour and a half. So settle in. Who do you want for the Rangers? I feel like there's a couple Rangers players that are here. I'll, I'll make up a checklist for you. I may as well have this open too. All right, so there's the checklist in the chat if you're watching live. Rangers, I think you're looking for Sam Huff might be one of the guys. I think Sheraton Apostle, either him or Diaspel Arias are the two main, two main guys I want to say. And then Sam Huff has some upside too. But there's a few different prospect autographs in here that you can chase. And who knows what these players can end up being. You know, most of these players should get to the, should start sniffing the big leagues in three to five seasons, right? Sooner if they just end up going off. So I'm going to actually separate the paper as I go along. Chrome will be right in front of me there. So again, no paper ships except for those few players that I mentioned. And all of that chrome certainly will be sorted out and shipped to you. There's our first Robert Pawson. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna we're gonna top load those a little bit later, if you don't mind. Where are you? Kind of behind on a few breaks, so we want to try to move a little more quickly here. Those atomics are not numbered, by the way. And our first autograph will be Grant Little, eighty-nine out of two fifty. The autos I will top load right away. That goes to Mark and the Friars. Purple Chrome autograph. Ooh, and a Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. Looks like a refractor too. Not numbered, but pretty nice. Yankees, that'll go to Aaron Haynes. I'm taking the under on fast money. All right, let me get this paper out of my way. America says terrible game show, just off-brand feud. Matthew Shearer, another Robert Pawson paper for you. Let's see if we can find some chrome for you too. There's Alec Manoa, 499. 
and Julio Rodriguez to 125. Shimmer, that's going to be for the Mariners, Chad Meyer with the M's. Supposed to be one of the big prospects for the M's. All right, box two of 10. All right. So we're doing the hobby boxes first. We'll do on the top camera, you'll see the four jumbo boxes above my head. We'll finish with those. Jumbo boxes tend to have a little bit of a smoother pattern, so I think it'll be a, a stronger finish to the finish line. Have any thoughts on uh, anyone? Have any early predictions on the awards? I think they're are they still doing awards? Rookie of the Year, MVP, Cy Young. I feel like they're they have to. I guess unless the baseball writers have said, "Nah, we're not going to do it." But I feel like a lot of players have those bonuses in their claws. Like, hey, if you win an MVP, it's an extra two hundred thousand dollars or something like that. You want to sign on, we'll give you a million dollars. Bonus. I feel like that's one thing the players associate is like, we're keeping that. You can prorate our deals. You know, but you got to give us our, our bonuses. Will there be all star bonuses? I know players get bonuses for all star appearances. As Javier Baez, purple paper to 250 for the Cubs. That'll be for Greg. And that Nico Herner card for the Cubs. I mean, that could be... Yeah, that could be a rookie of the year right there. There's Jason Dominguez, Chrome. There you go. That'll go to Aaron Haynes and the Yankees. Uh, no. Yeah, none of our Bowman breaks have we have we shipped everything. Paper, that paper doesn't ship. All the chrome ships. Uh, all paper does not ship except for Jason Dominguez, Robert Pawson, and uh, Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. And we got one autograph a box, J.J. Blade. Miami Marlins, Joe Kroll, who won the Marlins in a team random. Sorry, just throwing that J.J. Blade around. Fourth overall pick. Nice. Marissa, unfortunately, we are booked for the night, so that legacy will go tomorrow. Yeah, this is going to take about an hour and a half. We're only 15 minutes in, and there were some other breaks that are filled up. So I'll I'll be going, I'll be going late already. that tomorrow. So there's C.J. Abrams to 25. C.J. Abrams orange will go to the Padres. That's for Mark and Adam Harper gets that chrome. Bobby Witt Jr. I think it's the first Bobby and there's your first paper Bobby Witt Jr. There you go. So two so far.
Shigar Darji. What's going on? Welcome. Eric Pardino kid for the Blue Jays. They they signed him out of uh, Brazil at, when he was like 15 or 16 years old. And that was like a few years ago. So I think he's just starting to come of age. I think he's maybe 18 or 19. So Blue Jays have been quietly amassing a pretty strong group of youngsters. They could be an interesting team as the years go on. Next one. You got some uh, mega boxes today. Finally got a Dominguez and some Wit Mojo and a Riley Green autograph from Detroit. Not bad. That's not bad. That's that's solid out of a mega box. Drew Berenger, what's going on? You're you're asking. Just starting collecting. What is a good thing? To start with, hmm. that's kind of a broad question. I guess it depends on what you want to get out of the hobby. You know, if you're just looking to, to, to personally collect, um, then, you know, just buy whatever's in your budget here and there. And then you can, You know, and then just rip it open, collect whatever you want to keep, and have fun with it. Um, a buy-in for the Bowman box? Uh, I don't know. How much are these boxes by now? Are the hobbies like a couple hundred bucks, a few hundred bucks maybe, a box? Jumbos, maybe 500 bucks, four or 500 bucks a box? But this was a pick your team, so all the teams are different depend on, depending on the quantity and quality of the teams. Ben, what's going on? Thanks for watching. Yeah, where do you start collecting? I mean, I think first thing is money. What, what is your budget? You know, what, what, what part of your disposable income do you want to give up each month, you know, goofing around with something like this? Some people have more than others. Some people don't, but there's still ways to collect. Um, almost at any budget. Might be a little more difficult with a smaller budget, but there's still ways around it. And then you break it down to, well, now what sport do you want to collect? And you can, is it baseball, football, basketball? There's Reese Hines, a 25 orange paper, and a Chrome Dominguez, another one for Aaron Haynes and the Yankees. And then I guess, what do you want to collect? Why do you want to collect? Some people, I'm not a good top loader. Some people want to collect because, you know, they want to flip it for money, which is fine. So there are some good breaks for that as well. There's Ronnie Maurizio for the Mets. Some people just want to collect because they want to collect their favorite team. It's like, hey, I want to, I want to, I want to get a group of players that are on my team. And then the other thing, there's like such a huge learning curve with these because there's so many different products now. You have to learn about and figure out. Like Bowman, the stuff we're doing right now is does have some great resale value. But you may have to, for, for most of these players, you may have to wait until they get to the big leagues to really get a, to really start seeing bigger returns on these. So it's a bit of a waiting game with baseball. There is Omar Estevez for my Dodgers. That goes to Brandon.
Yeah, Bowman, uh, Will Christian saying, oh, what, over 200 for a hobby box now for Bowman baseball? What about, Will, what, do, you, do you know offhand Jumbos? So Jumbos must be like five. Over 375. As long as that Dominguez hype keeps up and Bobby Wood Jr. turns out to be decent and if Robert Pawson turns out to be decent, then these, these boxes will, will retain their value for a long time. Tristan Casas, Atomic. What's up, John Samuelson? Yeah, absolutely. Spectra is not the type of set that has a lot of base cards like this. It's like one pack, maybe. Hand, few packs, few cards a pack. A higher end set, not a lot of base cards. Yeah, all card ship. Day in life saying Torkelson on the pool roster would be something if you played big league games this year. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, if it's, a, it's essentially an exhibition season. I would just take any youngster and just say, hey, you're, you're going to play 60 games. This season's a wash. No worries, Drew. Yeah, we try to add a little. I and mean, we got more time to chit chat in an hour long break like this. Stuff like NT, those are so fast and hit heavy that. We generally don't, but yeah, we try to add a little value in these longer breaks. Ben's asking, does Dominguez have the potential to be the next Mike Trout? I mean, it'd be hard to really apply that to, what, an 18, 19-year-old kid. That'd be crazy. You talk to Yankees fans, they think he'll be the next Trout. Do we ever do soccer, Robert's asking? Yes, frequently. If you look at our videos, you'll see all the old soccer breaks we used to do. The availability is a little different on that. Sometimes they're just not as readily available as, as other products are. Or they get expensive really fast after, after new release day, so it's harder to, to re-up on those. Next hobby box. Ooh, I don't know what these go for, but look at that. That's a uh, an atomic Jason Dominguez for Aaron Haynes, who won the Yankees. We're giving away the Yankees in these mixers, these ten box mixers. That's pretty nice. Leo Tavares to 250. Have not seen any Riley Greens out of here yet. What's up, Chad? Chad thinks the Marco Luciano will be the best baseball prospect. That's the Giants player. Yeah, Giants. 
don't have the deepest farm system, I feel like, but they've got a couple... Got a couple uh, bright stars, potential future stars, a few of them. I feel like Luciano, Dubon, and then the Joey Bart could be a future Buster Posey, or at least a, a good just Buster Posey, a decent Buster Posey replacement. There he is, there's Buster Posey right there. Posing. Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. Yeah, I've heard some good things. I don't. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him. In action, but prospect-wise, he seems to be on on everyone's lists. Is he is he going to play this year? Yeah, if he gets if he hits three oh five and forty over course of a full season, that would be pretty impressive. And we've got our autograph forty-five out of fifty Bowman Scouts, Tariq. Scooball. That will be for the Tigers. That's going to go to Nicholas Casberg. Nick Stover, yes. NT is the only thing I will do tonight. Where if you the schedule's in the chat and we're already booked way past when I usually go off air. And I promise that the NT would certainly be something that I will add to the sketch. Everything else will be tomorrow. Chad Meyer, you read for hours this morning on every prospect. What, what other what other gems do you have for us? What the home run record will be for a 60-game season? Chad says 28. I was going to... 28 seems like a lot. I was going to say like... I, would, I was going to say like 22. 21, 22 home runs will be... Will be like the leader. Yeah, Will Christian saying like 23. 28, that'd be... Someone would just have to get real hot. It's just possible. Things, things could get nuts in a in a 60-game season. You know, because there, there, there'll be times where guys are like... Some guy will hit like seven home runs in a week. And it's like ESPN will be like, they're on pace to hit 105 home runs this year. I mean, they're never going to sustain that, but... But yeah, you can get hot. Someone can knock. Usually the full season, someone could be on that pace, but usually in a full season, they'll just get ice cold. And they just won't hit dingers for a while. Even though this is more of an exhibition season to me, I think the strategy will be interesting for... There's Pete Alonso. Yeah, he could go off, right? I think the strategy for a short season will also be interesting. How are, how are coaches and how are front offices, stats departments, how are they going to adjust to players that start off hot? You know, how do pitchers adjust to that? How do hitters adjust to pitchers adjusting to them? The adjustment time is a lot... is a lot shorter which is going to benefit you know which will benefit like players who can make quicker changes 
You know, for rookies, maybe it's going to be tough for youngsters or tough for slow starters. Like, who are slow starters who are, like, veterans? I guess maybe now I'm thinking more fantasy baseball now. There's Chris Valamont, 23 out of 299. Maybe those notorious slow starters will never really get into gear this season. Twins, that'll be for Scott. Hmm. You bet a close rule will have a chance to win the Cy Young this year, says Will Crit. See, that's interesting. Yeah, what if what if a closer goes out there? What if a closer just goes out there and just has a sub one ERA, a one whip? You know, and and just is on a team that doesn't maybe score enough runs, so he's getting a lot of save opportunities, and he knocks out like, you know, because closures you can go on a on a save streak, you can go on a little bit of a run. You know, maybe I don't know, fifteen, twenty saves in two months. That's a lot, but does that does that mean Cy Young if everyone else is just Mediocre. Maybe wins above replacement have a lot more to do with MVP winners this year, more than more than in previous years. That could have more weight in the right baseball writer's mind. See, so I think that's all interesting too. And, the, and home runs, right, maybe in a six-month season, you know, if you're a hitter, maybe you're thinking you're not going for home runs all the time, but maybe in a shorter season, maybe you're thinking, man, let's just, let's just generate some, let's just generate some power from the get-go, win some ball games. All right, there's Brian Mata to 125, and the final hobby box and jumbos. Yeah, Ben, that 50 auto book was wild. That was, a, that was quite a moment. Recently sold on auction for almost ten thousand dollars. Eight something, I think. It's pretty nice. You have the twins in this break? No, I have Scott Pelzer, order 91168, twins, and pick your team nine. This is pick your team nine. Oh, man, I was on a good, I was in a good groove, too, John Samuelson. Unbelievable. It's going to take me at least the, half these packs to get up to the pace that I was at. That's like tough. I'm just teasing guns. It's not a big deal. That's like telling, uh, that's like, I don't know, that's like in the 50 meters into Usain Bolt's 100 meter dash. Like, excuse me, Mr. Bolt. No, it's good to check. There's been a couple, there's been a few mistakes today already, so I was like, I would not be surprised if I mess that up today.
Remember, we do you do have get those order confirmation receipts. Am I breaking the noir soon? No, I'm not, Brian Wilson. Because we did that about an hour ago. Did I not upload the video? No, video is uploaded. All right, we got about another 30 or 40 minutes. I feel like I'm a little ahead of schedule here. So we've got about another 30 or 40 minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. And then schedules in the chat, we'll get to whatever's next on that schedule. I think that NT will probably be sold out by the time I get to it later tonight. So that will be the last break of the night. Everything else will go tomorrow. I don't think there's much else I could even fill tonight anyway, but everything else will go tomorrow. That legacy will go tomorrow. And Jesus Sanchez to 75. It's a yellow parallel, maybe, if not gold. Forget, forget what they call it. There's a chrome Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. And then we got another Tiger autograph, Tariq Skubal. We got the Bowman Prospects, the Bowman Scouts 100 auto. And now we got a regular one here for Nicholas Casper. Matthew Shearer with the A's. And man, he froze up. Family Feud froze up. That was third strike too. You can't freeze up on third strike. You gotta have an answer ready to fire. Watching the feud, of course. No, nothing super huge. Nothing earth-shattering yet. Some solid autographs. Darji, but nothing earth-shattering at the moment. We've still got another 40 minutes or so to go. We've got those four jumbo boxes to go above my head. Chrome, Bobby Witt Jr. I'm taking the under on fast money. Personal best card that I own. I don't own any cards, Ben. Personal best card that I own, probably, probably, I don't know, maybe a Derek Carr relic to two ninety nine or something like that. All right, jumbo time. Four jumbos. Well, I just bought a spot in it. How does that work? Well, when it... I'm confused, Brian. Yeah, so if you were in Noir... Yeah, first of all, you have to figure out what number break you were in. Noir 16 is not sold out yet. So we're not going to be able to do that tonight. Already booked for the night anyway. But if you were in Noir break number 15, we've already done the break itself. You can watch the video that's uploaded on this very channel. Chad Meyer, who was doing a lot of uh, 
a lot of prospect research. He's saying that Marco Luciano is only 18, on average, three years younger than most. He's playing against, and by far, leaps and bounds more polished than his peers. Remember his name in two years, he says. I don't want to. I think he's he's a almost certain he's a San Francisco Giant, which is my rival. That's a Dodgers fan. So no, I want him to be a bust. How about that? I guess I want the people who bought the Giants to succeed on the secondary market. It's tough. It's tough. I, I'm torn. This is our first of four jumbo boxes, so I think we should expect three autographs out of here as opposed to the one each in Hobby. I also feel like there's a little bit of a better rhythm or pattern in these, so I think I should be able to breeze through these a little bit more quickly. Bobby Wood Jr. paper. Watch out, Bobby. Adam Harper. That's a refractor, Drew Waters. Uh, that is a Brave. That's going to go to Mark, Mark B with that. And then we've got a Zach Brown band to $4.99. Brewers, that'll be for Patrick. I'm taking the under on fast money. Buster Posey to four ninety nine paper. All right, Brian, you're in break sixteen. Okay, so that a needs to fill first. I think there's a couple filler breaks that we would need to accomplish as well to completely sell that out. And with the schedule booked up tonight, that's most likely going to be hopefully at some point tomorrow. I think even with a brand new release in Spectra Basketball, I feel like we should. We should be able to squeeze that break in between all the spectra tomorrow. There's Eric Rivera for the Halos. Joe Kroll with the Angels. Ben, where do you, where do you live? We're not open to the public just yet. We're doing a lot of... Uh, we've been using this pandemic time to do a little remodeling at the shop. And we're... I think some stuff is still open here, but we're not quite ready for the public yet. But curbside pickup is available. Pittsburgh, well, if you start walking now, you should be able to get to us by the time we open back up. Another Eric Rivera, a refractor this time. A base auto and a refractor auto for Joe who won the Angels in that team random. Yeah, Chad Myers in Pittsburgh. I think we've, we've got a handful of people who are from that neck of the woods that regularly uh, join our group breaks and hang out. All right, we got Jeremy Pena to 125 Astros. He got 154. Oh, my under pick was terrible. All right, there's Micah Bello to 75. Are we getting Spectra? Yes, as I was just saying, Spectra will be tomorrow. Pre-orders are up on the site, jazpiescasebreaks.com. They've been up for a few days. Brew Crew, that'll be for Patrick. Yeah, we get about 99% of the products that are released. 
sports products that are released. So, and Spectra is definitely one of the bigger ones every year. So we're absolutely getting those. We've got to fill the shop. Oh, paper, Jason Dominguez. That'll be Aaron and the Yankees. Ooh, goose egg. Alright, another jumbo box. Um, do I check the backs of these for platinum backs? To be honest with you, no. I don't think they're I don't think they're in these sets though. Maybe in first edition they were. Yeah, Chad, I heard. Uh, I think Tyler Brenner was here earlier saying that it was a shop in his neck of the woods that where a customer had pulled a pulled one of those out of uh, out of a, out of a box that he bought. Our shipping team will will catch will catch uh, whatever I miss, ladies and gentlemen. So fear not. I remember a number of years back. We were doing Topps Chrome Football. It was a little while back. Topps Chrome Football. This is on the on the uh, Joe Blooper reel. So this was, I think, this was Gurley's rookie year, and it was a year where the design was kind of weird, where it wasn't clear that the super factors were super factors. So the sorting and shipping team. Discovered a one of one Todd Gurley at a Topps Chrome football. We shipped it to the person. They're like, oh my God, I didn't even see in the break. And I was like, oh, neither did Joe. Yeah, I mean, listen, all Bobby Witt's paper and chrome ship. So if I have to miss something like that, if it's even in this set, then Royals, Adam Harper, would, would get all of those. So all of the all of the bigger name rookies are taken care of. Here's Hunter Green to four ninety nine. Just want to get that out of the way. Reds that goes to Adam Harper. And we've got Brandon Howlett. 230 out of 499. Wasn't he the lead singer of uh, Prodigy? Remember Prodigy? That goes to Darren McKenzie and the Red Sox. And Franklin Perez to 125. Aqua Shimmer. How good is Bobby Wood Jr. going to be? 
it's up to Bobby Wood Jr. I have no idea. But he's people that know much more about baseball than I do decided to pick him second in the draft last year. He's got some upside. Obviously, his dad played ball, so there's some pedigree there. There's Bobby Witt Jr. paper. So he's certainly got certainly got things going for him. I have seen a little bit of his highlights. Seems to be the real deal, at least from highlights. There's Glenn Allen Hill, another uh, another son of a old ball player. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. for the Diamondbacks. That goes to Michael Lang. Uh, no, Brian, we do not send an email before we uh, before we do a break. It's a little more of a spontaneous affair here at Jaspies. Um, but when a break does happen, we almost immediately upload it right after the break. So if you happen to miss it, you'll be able to. Uh, See the video immediately. Aaron, Yankees. A lot of times I think most people, I don't know, how does, how does everyone do it? Do you guys just monitor the website, see if your break gets close? I think usually most people do that, and then if they see that it's sold out, then they'll check in with me to see if there's, if I've gone through the orders and if it's locked into a time schedule, and then, and then they know when it's going to break if they want to watch it live. Bobby Wood Jr. And there's a Chrome one coming up too. Yeah, Andrew Vaughn of the White Sox could be could be a great prospect coming up. Mackenzie Gore, I think we're finally going to see him in action this year. He's been on the prospect radar for a while. And there's Jordan Yamamoto to 499. Refractor autograph for Joe Kroll and the Marlins, the fish. Kalanick, too, who the Mariners got from the Cano deal. Kalanick is in Seattle, so Seattle could sneakily turn into a great team. With a lot of young players. All right. Two more jumbo boxes to go. Okay, so Chad just looks at the schedule. Yeah, you know, I try to be better about, especially as we've gotten busier, updating that schedule. But there's the current schedule for those of you in breaks that are happening tonight. I think that NT did sell out, so that will be the last break of our night. If uh, anything that sells out after that, like Legacy or another Flash or something, that will be pushed to tomorrow. But good news, because Spectre New Release Day, Jason Jasky should be here. He's thinking like 10 in the morning tomorrow around there right here on the main channel. So he'll be here early to break with you. So by the time I'm done, it'll be less than less than 12 hours. We'll be back on air. Yeah, no worries, Brian. Thanks for discovering us and joining us. Or sometimes, a lot of times I'll have the schedule up on the screen too, if I've stepped away from the keyboard, but yeah, we should try to keep it updated. Sometimes I won't have a schedule just simply because I just haven't gone through orders yet, but but I'll let you know and then we can just check back in later for it. And also, don't remember, since you're new here, and this is for everybody else who's new here as well, a lot of times those pricier breaks do have filler breaks or mini breaks attached to it. I know for sure Noir does. So just keep that in mind. There may need to be a couple other breaks where we're giving away spots that we have to do before it's officially sold out. So it may only be semi-officially sold out. All right, let's slide this over here. So second to last box, folks, a few more autos to go. Like I said, this jumbo, at least to me, feels like, feels like it, it moves a little more easily. There's Jason Dominguez paper.
All right, there's another Dominguez paper for Aaron Haynes, who won that. We do have the second half of this in the store right now, folks. We can knock this, knock another one out tomorrow. The more teams you buy or, or win, the more chances you have at uh, getting the Yankees. And we've got James Beer to 299 Speckle autograph for Fred Schultz. There's another team that I think is could be really great really fast. A lot of the young players that they have coming up. That's right. The more you buy, the more chances you have to win. And remember, this is not like our other sort of breaks where you got to buy at least two to get an entry, blah, 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 blah. No, this one's just one could get you the Yankees. Oh, is it sold out? Well, like I said earlier, Brian, we are booked for tonight. And there's probably going to be some smaller breaks attached to it, so can't break it tonight, I'm afraid. It'll be tomorrow. We got a yellow Isaac Paredes to 75. That'll be for the Tigers. There's a Brandon Howlett, Red Sox, Darren McKenzie. More hype on Wander Franco or Dominguez. Yeah, definitely Jason Dominguez has far more hype. I feel like Wander Franco could be... I feel like he's been in the league for in the minors for a little bit. So I feel like he's got some... He's got some uh, experience under his belt. There's another Robert Possum for Matthew Shearer and the A's. So I feel like Wander Franco could be better. Yeah, that's what Will's saying too. I feel like Wander Franco could be better, but... Um, but Jason Dominguez definitely has the hype. Wander Franco's on the raise, so I, 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 think, I think that kind of suppresses his value a little bit. as At least more than it really should for a number one position playing prospect. I think a lot of, a lot of like Baseball America, MLB has him... Currently, maybe in the top five somewhere. Fan graphs, too. But he's, he's buried a little bit on the... On the... Uh, on the raise. It makes it a little difficult. Nico Herner could be really interesting this year. To, to 50. And there's Sean Murphy to 499. There's Wander Franco right there, spanning the globe. Yeah, Ben... Yeah, Will Christian's right. Wander Franco is generally considered by most scouting organizations to be the number one prospect in baseball. So in terms of quote-unquote better, at least the scouts think that Wander Franco will be a better player. In terms of the hobby for us, who's more hyped and has a better secondary market value? That's going to be Jason Dominguez by far. But maybe for sharp buyers... You know, maybe for sharp collectors, maybe you buy low on some Wander Francos and see if he ends up projecting out as well. There's Andrew Vaughn. We were just talking about him. To 100. Atomic Auto for the White Sox, Fred Schultz. There you go, Fred. There you go. Third overall pick, 2019. Freud Snova to 150, blue shimmer. 
Yeah, the Angels fans around here are pretty excited about Joe Adele. Astros, Ryan with that one. Robert Poss and Chrome, another one from Matthew Shira. Poss and I have, you know, he's not on my radar at all. I think when we were first doing some first editions, some people were like, ah, Robert Poss, that guy's going to be huge. And I was like, who? He wasn't on my radar at all. So I admit that I'm not sure, don't really have too much familiarity with him. But I think hobby wise, he's doing he's doing pretty decently on a sec secondary market. I guess more than some of the other rookies at the moment or uh, prospects at the moment. All right, believe it or not, folks, last box. We're just a little over an hour, so we should be. I think my my initial schedule was was correct. I think it might be a little behind, but we'll get there. What is it? Whose age? Chad. Pawson's age? Jameis, what's up? Where, where's, where are you, five hundred thousand? Is that has that not been pulled yet? I would have thought that someone would have been like it's gone, it's been pulled. I mean, maybe someone has pulled and they're just sitting on it, but it would be hard not to go to social media once you pull something like that. Ah, I see. So Robert Pawson, not only is he young, but went through the system more quickly than expected. There you go. Well, he'll certainly get opportunities with the A's. All right, last box, folks. Last few autographs. Thanks for thanks for hanging with me throughout the break. Tony Debrell, seventy out of two ninety nine speckle autograph for the Metropolitans. Robert Z with that. Awesome chrome and paper for Matthew Shearer and the A's. for Jason Dominguez and we've got a gold Grant Levine to 50 for the Rockies Adam Harper with the Rocks and another Dominguez paper for the Yankees Aaron Haynes won that yeah, people love those orange parallels all right, last stack. Ooh. 
Made it. Made it. We've got Jan Diaz for the Tampa Bay Rays. Adam Harper. Is that our first or second? Was that our second autograph? First autograph? Lost count. We've got a yellow Pete Alonzo, 5 out of 75. Paper for Robert and the Mets. That speckle. we got Aaron Shortridge. Pirates, that'll be for Aaron Haynes. That's the team he bought to win the Yankees. Yeah, we've, we've done a lot of Sapphire before. If you look in our video archives, you'll see all the Tops and Bowman Sapphire that we've done. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. Oh, I missed the next line. Oh, it wasn't orange. It was, an, it was an out of five, Chad, for the uh, Brand Davis. It's not bad. There's Anthony Velope. To 125. And we've got an Ezekiel Duran. 14 out of 250. Purple chrome autograph. Not bad at all, Aaron, for winning this team. Nice break for you. There's Joe Adele. We were just talking about him a little bit earlier. He should be a big prospect. More Bobby Witt Jr. paper for the Royals. Adam Harper. And is that it? Yeah, no more boxes over there. Paper, 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 paper. And John means Papel. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A very nice mixer. Half Bowman Jumbo. Half Jumbo and half Hobby. Second half is, uh, is in the store, folks. We'll be able to run that back tomorrow. So here's a quick little recap here. Not too shabby. We've got a lot of a lot of paper and chrome parallels in that pile too. So very excellent break. That was Pick Your Team 9. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm out.